Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a traveling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. The Camp Nou once again decorated in the colours of Barcelona. This is what greets the players every time. Well, it's a friendly in theory, but we are expecting this to be fiercely contested. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will, will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. So that's got things on the way. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Aiden Hazard with the ball at his feet is one of the finest sights in world football, Peter. And I particularly enjoy the way he can glide away from his marker with just one touch. He's a lethal finisher, a very fine passer too. The kind of player the manager would be looking to build this team around, I'd imagine. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Lucas Vasquez. He's got options out wide. Jordi Alba. Neither of the teams has yet taken the initiative. It's a decent ball. Well read, he sorted that out. You can get that clear. Dembele. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. Lucas Vasquez drives it forward. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. Right now, what's on? And here's Azar. Modric, Lucas Vasquez. Just deflected behind for a corner. Kroos pumps it into the area. And it's Modric. And here's Azar. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Dembele. Oh, it's Benzema. And he's there to hoof it away. That's Dembele. 
Well played, he saw that coming. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Lucas Vasquez is making a foray down the right. Griezmann. And here's Griezmann. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Griezmann really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Casemiro plays it over to the other flank. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Benzema. Ben shot a goal! Uh, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. Madrid take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Yeah, although that first goal is a welcome boost, they can't afford to ease off now. To do that would simply be inviting danger. Forward it goes. He hits it! A real chance and a real let-off. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. And that has put pay to that. Rafael Varane. Tony Kroos. And it's Tony Kroos. Hazard. He's gone for it! And that'll be the last act of the first half. And here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. <laughs> Whistle goes, and we start the second half. It seems like the perfect situation for fortune favouring the brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable. Hoists it forward. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Dembele, fired in, gets up to head it! Casemiro, played out to the right. Lucas Vasquez. Tony Kroos, tries to get it forward quickly. 
He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Time and again, they are repelled. Barcelona still trailing by one. And looking here to take it up a notch after the break. He's having a look round. Hit into the middle. And through to the goalkeeper. And it's played forward. Now it's Griezmann. Done very well to intervene. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. There's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. And here's Dembele. And a play for a throw. Lucas Vasquez. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, at the moment, their chances of getting back in contention look slim. They're not exerting enough pressure. Simple as that. Griezmann. It could be in here. Griezmann! It's in! Barcelona are back in business. Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Has a hit! And that's caused a worry or two. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Casemiro closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Who saw this coming? Barcelona have dragged it back at the last. And here's Griezmann. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Moran gets rid without sophistication. And it's Jordi Alba. That looks a good ball. Strong punch. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Dinks one in. He has it out wide now. Has a go! Yes, it's in! And they're back in front! All over in seconds, that's what they can do to you. Quick, decisive and unerring, a textbook example of, of how to turn defence into counter-attack. That'll do for me every time.
Madrid are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Madrid get themselves into the lead. I think what we've just seen is further evidence of their resilience and fantastic belief. I mean, they can always come through. Remarkable. And here's Griezmann. Griezmann plays it forward. Great lead! And he's found the net! We thought it was over! It's all square once more! It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had it where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business now. So all square with almost no time remaining. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Jordi Alba. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Well weighted. And that's that. Well, a game that had everything except a winner. Really watchable and honours even. The end of the game. Reflections. Wow, like so many of these games, that just flew by. There was great excitement in, in the match, and it, it kept everybody guessing which way it was going to turn. I think in the end, I, I doubt that there'll be much cause for complaint. Uh, neither side deserved to lose for me. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.